So one of the FDA advisors, the panel, I think, is 29 or 30 people. And they all unanimously, except for two, voted for this next for the most recent booster booster authorization, except for well, one is Dr. Offit, O-F-F-I-T. And Dr. Offit, is, he's been around for a while. He's been on these panels and uh, he's a part of the system. He's going to be off it pretty soon. He's going to be very off it. You get the, the EUA submission from the company, which is 85 to 100 pages long. And then you get the FDA's review of all those data. It really, really is heartening. I mean, it is a very thorough review. Not here. Here it was 22 pages from the FDA, which included a half a page on Pfizer's data and a half a page on Moderna's data. You could get that from the, the press release. In fact, there was no more detail, frankly, than the press release. So I just thought... The, the, the question we're being asked is, is in the end, always, is do the benefits outweigh the risks? Even though the risks are generally small and sometimes unknown, that's always the question. Do the benefits of this vaccine outweigh the risks? I, I didn't see the benefits. I was surprised, actually, frankly, that of the 21 voting members, 19 voted yes, because oh, I yeah, just didn't 21. see the evidence for that. And we'll see how this plays out. I mean, this was something that I think they, they that, that, that was, that, that was desired by this administration. I could be wrong, but the way that this, the other thing that was odd about this meeting was that we're an advisory committee. We're being asked for our advice. So normally what happens is they just present the data. Here's the data, what's your advice? And and people can ignore our advice. I mean, I'm in, in academic medicine. People ignore my advice all the time. But to make the best advice. So here, on the other hand, how they had somebody from the WHO, Contra Subaral, who presented uh, their their opinion about this. And, and their opinion was they thought this was a good idea. And then you had the FDA presenting where they also had an opinion. that That's unusual. Um, and then the next day, you know, you read a, a, a public health announcement from the uh, a, 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 a press release from HHS, Health and Human Services, that says that the government has decided to purchase at least 105 million doses from Pfizer with up to 300 million doses. It was a little unclear from that press release, but they mentioned that we had just made this decision the day before. So you, you just sort of felt like the fix was in a little bit here, maybe that's not the right phrase, but it was something that, that they wanted. And ah. I felt like we were being led here and with, that, with, with a, a critical lack of information. You're right. The fix was in. All right. Dr. Offit. He's got the right words. Yeah. So truth. But of course, that's on. So uh, this is unbelievable. Yeah. That, that, by the way, uh, I don't know where that came from. I didn't know that it was happening. I never heard that this guy was out there bitching. Uh, I'm giving you a clip of the day for that. I'm that's gonna, great. I'm going to accept it. Clip of the day. The fix was in. Fix was in.